This video is brought to you by Sync, voice-activated in-car technology available exclusively on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. Sync, powered by Microsoft. Hey everybody, we're hanging out at CES 2009 in Sony's booth. I've got Scott with IGN Gear with me and we're talking about Vios P-Series. Now tell me a little bit about what you've got in your hands. This is Sony's lifestyle PC. Basically it's for the, you know, PC enthusiast on the go, um, gets all of your essential information, it gets media, uh, word processing on a uh, eight inch screen. It's less than a pound and a half uh, in terms of overall weight and it has crazy wireless connectivity. So lifestyle defines what, like what type of features do we have? Uh, you can access 3G networks via Verizon, which uh, will vary and obviously by your service area in terms of pricing. Uh, you can run Vista or through it, Sony's cross media bar, which basically allows you to access in less than 20 seconds uh, photos, videos, and the internet. You can pretty much do any sort of social networking as well. You've got the uh, built in webcam as well as speakers and a built in microphone, so you can use Skype and video chat and pretty much any messaging client that you want. Um, you can also surf the web completely, any, you know, pretty much any Java enabled, you know, it's, it, there's no limitations to it. So when are these going to be available for the public? I believe that they're taking pre-orders now at SonyStyle.com and as well as Sony, uh, Sony Style stores. And then next month it'll be shipping to any, wherever you can find Sony. And just like curiosity's sake, battery life, anything like that? Well that's the really cool thing. You've got a stock four hour battery on it, but you can actually buy an upgraded battery for it that'll do eight hours. And then I believe the, they said it's 120 for the uh, upgraded battery of eight hours. and. And also, you have a expandable media, so you can actually uh, export the video to an external display. So you could you could do it to your TV. So if this screen, this eight-inch screen, is too small for you, you can always bring it to a bigger platform. So tell me a little bit about price. What do I can expect to burn a hole in my wallet for? The base model is nine hundred dollars, but then there's a number of other variations with expanded hard drives. Um, we can have a solid state drive, I believe, of 160 gigabytes, and then another one that's, I believe, around 230. Uh, they haven't released the final details on those just yet. Gotcha. Cool. Thanks for the deets.